Mac and Millie made their way through the conservatory and into Bath and Body. Each step filled Mac's chest with dread. The creaking floor, the pelting rain, the thud of his cane followed by his feet. Millie's footsteps. Maybe the killer wasn't in the gift galleries. Maybe he or she remained hidden upstairs in some secret office room. Maybe the stomping above him that he had heard early denoted panic and guilt. They made their way through the narrow stationary section filled with cards and pens to the bathroom area and handbag department. Again, the floorboard seemed to creak louder and louder the more they walked, further and further away from the gallery, the gallery with a warm fire. Mac didn't realize how cold and wet he was in the dead air of the powerless wanderer. Okay, uh, the stairs are up ahead. Mills, I'm telling you earlier, I was reading a journal written by a guy who saw a woman walk into a closet in here and just disappear. Just gone. Gone.